A grieving father reached out to Action News Jax. He says Jehovah's Witnesses started sending him letters to his family and church after reading his daughter's obituary. New at 6, Action News Jax, Katie McKee is live in San Marco. And Katie, his father says he found the letters offensive. Yeah, John, and he also described them as inappropriate. He received the first one to his home only weeks after his daughter had passed away and received the second to his church here in San Marco. A local father who wishes to remain anonymous sent us a copy of a letter sent to his family's church reading, sorry about your loss. I read about it from the obituary. Jehovah's Witness literature was attached. In a time when a family is grieving, they need to be surrounded by family and friends and their community of faith, and that's, and that's it. That's not a time for a person to proselytize, you know, their views. He tells me it's the second time his family received a letter like this. Something similar came to his home in January, shortly after he lost his daughter. We found a, you know, a track from uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses that I thought was just horribly in inappropriate. The most recent letter was signed by an Eva Robinson. We went to the return address listed. She didn't want to be shown on camera, but agreed to answer some of our questions. What is the overall purpose of, of them getting this pamphlet? You know, if they, if they belong to a Presbyterian church. That doesn't matter. I'm, we are not trying to change anybody's religion. We're just simply encouraging. I told Robinson we were contacted by a family who was angered and offended. I'm sorry. I meant no harm. Robinson tells me she frequently sends these letters to families listed in obituaries, and this is the first time she has heard of someone having an issue with it. I think it just reflects upon, you know, her leadership that is uh, unfortunately uh, interpreting scriptures in a very shallow way. Robinson tells me she attends Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. I reached out to all of them here in Jacksonville to see if they agree with her sending letters to these families. I did not hear her back. Reporting from San Marco, Katie McKee, CBS 47 Action News Jacks.